Welcome back. In the following videos, we will apply toolpaths to the switch plate project. Now, one of the most important things that you need to think about when you're machining components is how you will hold the workpiece. The switch plate is going to require at least two work holding instances because it has features on both sides of the part. The curved geometry on the face, the pocket for the light switch itself, and the two countersunk holes can be machined from one side. But the recessed pocket on the opposite side will have to be cut in a separate operation. The two most common work holding methods in machining are either a standard vise or a fixture plate that has features to allow for various clamps and locating hardware. It's usually the job of the CNC programmer or a manufacturing engineer to determine how the workpiece will be held. There is no one right way to hold a component. Each component's geometry has its own complications and there are many factors that must be considered when designing a manufacturing process, such as will the component be made one time or will there be a large production run? You need to consider the type of material being cut as metals require much more clamping force than softer materials. And you need to consider the type of equipment you're working on and the resources that are available to you. Your instructor will provide more information on how to hold the workpiece for your projects. For the purpose of these tutorials, we will assume that the switch plate is going to be made in a three-step process. The raw material size will be half inch thick, four inches wide, and six inches long. For the first operation, the raw material will be held in a standard vise with at least 0.4 of an inch protruding from the vise in the Z direction. In the first operation, we will use an end mill to cut the outer shape of the part all of the way around to a depth of 0.390. We will machine the recessed pocket on the back side of the part and the two holes. We will assume that the material is wood or plastic. For the second operation, we will flip the part upside down, machine the part to its final thickness of 0.384 and countersink the two screw holes. For the third operation, we will clamp the switch plate down to a fixture plate using the two countersunk screw holes to hold the part in position so that we can machine the curved features on the front face of the part. We would not be able to machine these features if we were still holding the part in a vise, as the end mill would make contact with the vise jaws. Your instructor will demonstrate this process in the lab or make changes to the process to suit the equipment that is available to you. Your instructor will also demonstrate how to set the X, Y, and Z zeros on the machine tool and to set the cutting tool length offsets. We will begin applying toolpaths in the next video.